Hi. A few weeks ago you might remember that I had a collaboration video with Rachel Lurch. Um, it went really well. Um, one of the viewers from that, um, a guy from the Peak District called uh, Tom O'Neill, uh, has got in touch and said that he would be really interested in doing something along similar lines. So um, it was a busy time when he asked me, I was going on holiday, this, that, the other, but he's been in touch and he's set this challenge. Hi Nick, hi Rachel. I've uh, recently rewatched your Bridges collaboration from about a month ago and uh, it's actually inspired me to think of a little challenge of my own. At this time of year, as photographers, we're all going out into the wilderness and taking photographs of the autumnal landscape as the uh, trees are changing colour. And that's exactly what I want us to do. But just to make things interesting, our images have got to incorporate water and a human element. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys make of that and uh, I already know it's going to be fantastic but uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with. So, autumnal shots with water and a human element. What can possibly go wrong? afternoon um, they were on a bit of a mission um, Tom O'Neill has set me a challenge and Rachel Lurch a challenge actually um, to find some awesome colours with water and a human element yeah that shouldn't be too difficult Tom thanks yeah um, nothing like the easy stuff mate eh We've come to Malden Hill. We're going to walk through to Peatmore Lake. Two beautiful lakes, um, two that I've photographed many times before. Um, so, two of the elements I think I can find. But the human element, wow, that could be a bit harder. Colours have really come out and continuing to come out. Um, we're actually off to Western Burt um, next Saturday, I think. Uh, so really looking forward to seeing the colours that are coming out there, especially on the Aces and that, they're some of my favourites. Um, so uh, autumnal colours, Tom, shouldn't be a problem. Um, we're heading back now towards the lake. We've been all through the trees and the colours are lovely. So we're heading back now towards the lake I'm um, going to be looking for some real crisp, clean reflections. It's, it's a beautiful day, absolutely beautiful day. Hard to believe that it's actually autumn. Um, so, definitely got some autumn colours around the lake and on the lake. Um, obviously the lake is the water element. So when I'm there, I'm just going to see if I can find something that I can put in the image that's, uh, that's good enough to call a human element. So, uh, So we'll see.
night, Tom. Um, I think I found a human element. Obviously, I've got the water and the colours in the, in the background there, the trees. Um, human element? Well, there's two, actually. Because to my right-hand side, I've got a photo of a guy fishing. Um, beautiful day for fishing. And then to my left, just over my shoulder there, you can probably see two people just enjoying the day on the bench. So that's two. Um, so we're going to go through the peat more in a minute, see if we can find another one or two. And uh, a few more images just for anyway, just to see what we can get. Beautiful day, colours are lovely. Uh, they're all right for you. Okay, Tom, um, one of the images that I was going to do for you, I'm going to do in a minute, um, but uh, I'm going to put the image up um, and it's got all the elements you've asked for, but you've got to find them. So uh, hopefully you'll spot everything. There's something that I thought of about an hour after you set the challenge. Um, and I thought, actually, I can have a bit of fun with this. So uh, good luck spotting it. Let me know how you get on. Well, we've come through to, um, where have we come through to? Shore Forest. Shore Forest, uh, which is just up from, just up from Peatmore. But the clouds have rolled in and spoiled everything. And the colours are there. I'm sure you're around, the colours are there. Um, but unfortunately, we haven't got the light now to back it up because it's gone really flat and dull. And a black and white image, well, that's, not much point in having a black and white image when you're trying to show colour. So it's a bit unfortunate. So I'm really pleased actually that we got what we got back at Molden Hill. Um, we are actually heading back. We're obviously parked there. Um, whether the sky will clear on the way back for a sunset, it doesn't look like it will. But uh, what does it matter? There'll be other sunsets. There'll be other days. Autumn's not over by a long shot. Um, I think there's a good couple of weeks, three weeks, four weeks even, um, left in the colour. As long as we don't get no strong, strong winds, um, then we've got a good, good few weeks left of it. Um, so it's, uh, it's not a complete washout. 
Um, probably going to sign off here unless we do get a sunset, which I, I can't see it. But so I'm going to sign off here. Tom, I hope you're happy with the, with the images that I've taken um, as part of your challenge. I've gone to try to keep it as uh, close to what you wanted, so as what you challenged as I could. So, uh, so please like, share, subscribe. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, tell them to subscribe. Um, trying to get over the 100 mark, I'm about nine away. So be over the 100 would be nice. Not the be all and end all, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for subscribers. Um, but they do help push the videos up to the top of the list. Um, so tell your friends, time to watch it. Um, time to share it, like it means the world to me and uh, I'll speak to you again very soon. See you later.